load ready to roll here. Three boxes of fishing lures. Donate that. That's actually a nice book. I like new condition on the inside. The cover is just a little the dust page or whatever. It's just a little uh, ruffled up. Scrap yard. So we're going to go post office, library, scrap yard. And on the way home from the scrap yard, back to here. We're going to do a bunch of dumpster diving and let's go see what we can find. <coughs> On to the library. <laughs> On to the scrapyard. We began the dumpster dive action. I have a real long route that I can run on the way home. Or towards the direction of home anyways. Oh, oh that's no good. <laughs> oh, I'll save some of it. Yeah, that's some decent looking Nikes maybe. Let's see. Something fell out. Uh, sweaters. Boots. Some stainless steel. I'll take that. Oh my goodness. Whew. This apartment complex doesn't really like people putting stuff out and stuff, so I'm just going to uh, leave those like that. Maybe someone will see it. Little indicator, come have a look. That's a stainless steel flask. Uh, shoot. It's actually leather bound. It's actually got something in it. It's the real stuff. Oh, look at that, it's rotten. <laughs> Stainless steel scrap metal. Okay, what do we have here? Those are uh, looking like they're unused. Oh, they just got some lint stuck to them. Um, a white bottom like that, if they were used, they, sh they would show where quickly, so I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if someone would want those or not. For money, anyways. Definitely curve worthy. Shoes I can't see. You know, there's some decent shoes in there. Uh, those Nikes are a little too far gone. Ladies, size 8. Bit too far gone. They're care where they though. You know this place doesn't care for people uh, putting stuff out all over the place. Although there is one dumpster where they do do it here. But, uh, I'm just gonna take all this stuff.
and just put it on the curb after I get out of this place. I'm going to uh, keep these though. See if I can do anything with those. Like in my last video, I found a bunch of clothes. <clears throat> I said maybe they should be donated, but then in this video, she saw me donating a book and running an errand to the post office. The problem I run into with donating stuff is I just don't have time. There's too much of it out here. It would be pretty much a full-time gig by itself. So a lot of times what I'll do is I'll leave indicators like I was going to do here so someone might see it and come and get it. But those shoes were valuable enough to someone where I'll just put them on the curb all together in a box and be done with it. Now putting it on the curb somewhere is, I mean, it doesn't consume any time. You know, I imagine, I'm sure, I'm sure you can imagine me running around with loads to donation centers. It would just take all day. That's my biggest spot to set these. I'm sure that'll get somebody's attention. Put that uh, Nike up there like that. Another Nike up here like that. And I'll do the trick. I'm tempted just to get rid of those too. Uh, I just don't see a name brand on them. So, I'm going to, uh, well those are kind of nice actually. Ah, what the heck. <laughs> there it is. That's one way to do it. B cord. Uh, some stands in here. Elite display. I wonder if it's the new one or the old one or what's the deal. If that's brand new, which it appears to be. Yes, it is brand new. Uh, that could be worth some decent money right there. The fact I can say it's new will help out a lot. Make sure the model numbers are on there. There's another one. Uh, if they're not really sellable, I can just take them to the scrapyard, you know. been stripped except for these blue pieces
I'm left with the skibble scabble. Back here. Nothing. Nothing. I think that's uh, the wheels for a trash can. It's actually got some decent pieces of metal. I might be able to take that to the scrapyard. I'm gonna take that with me and ponder if I want to keep that for myself. I might need a rolling trash can down at my storage units, you know. But uh, that'll probably be one of those things that <laughs> in a few hours from now I'll realize I'm just holding on to stuff I don't really need, so. There's one advantage of doing it on a two-wheeler. Sucking on a raspberry sucker, so. Ouch! Oh, it's hot. <laughs> okay. That's a little chunky stuff in there. It's always a nice sight when you see that right there. Order of copper is ready to go. <laughs> oh. It's nice, nice bit. Uh, this is gonna be just about a pound. Number one, bare bright copper. I guess you could call it bare bright. I'll just throw it in with my number one copper because I really don't get a lot of bare bright bare bright would be like if you cleaned these uh, pieces of number one insulated copper if you took the insulation off that real shiny super clean untouched copper wires they call bare bright it's like a nickel a dime more a pound than number one it's not that big of a deal unless you have big grips of it you know That's actually just aluminum. There's no wires left in this. I'll just break it down like that. Of course, storage is a priority for me. This is all a good number one insulated copper wire here. I'll just do something like that with it. And give it the give it the squish ole. There it is. Nice little dumpster. I wish they could all be like that. little boat shop here in the heart of their busy season they will throw out some decent stuff 
Yeah, that's a little, uh, I wonder if that works. Well, it works. Huh. It's gonna be scrap metal for me, but. <laughs> Sucker for you. Raspberry. That's delicious. <clears throat> oh, look how dirty that is. Yuck. Melted candle holders. Those are not bad. What else we got in here? Uh, kids' Nikes. They're not bad shoes. That one's tore up. Let's see if we can find another blue one in here. There it is. That's a pretty nice little shoe. Need some new shoe string. Uh, Roll. What's in here? This one's sugar stash. <laughs> Probably little kids, little kids stash. We think. This looks like an interesting bag here. Halloween candy a bit. I'm not sure what the deal is. This one just packed up a bunch of junk they didn't want and tossed it. Someone to come have a look at. Some decent stuff. Get someone's attention to have a look at her. Maybe, maybe someone wants some of these clothes. Maybe not. This is how it goes. That's not like you, so. Look at those, those might be sellable for a decent price. The rest just looks like garbage. That's a little, little swing deal. That's in good shape too. Huh.
I saw that coax and stuff from the other night. I showed this in the video. I left this here because someone else might use it. I'm actually going to get it out from in front of the dumpster so the garbage man doesn't set the dumpster on top of it. And it would appear that I missed some copper coax here and an ethernet cord. Two little ethernet cords. Unless those have just recently been added to the mix, I suppose. This copper coax, for those of you that haven't seen it, is normal coax will have a steel tin wire in the middle. And there's some copper or there's some coax that does not have it. And usually you can tell because it's, it's more flexible, like a normal copper insulated wire, as opposed to the coax that comes out of your wall, you know, this kind here is it's real stiff. And, you can just feel and see the difference. Now, I will hit this with a better magnet to make sure I get back to the storage unit. This magnet might not be strong enough. Here's a good way to tell. Let's see. No, shoot, I'm wrong about that. Look at it. Wrong again. Look at that. That's a good way to tell. Shoot. Well, sounded like I knew what I was talking about, huh? <laughs> Alrighty then. Okay, enough blabbing. pieces of aluminum for those of you that don't know it's a carpet tacks down the carpet around the edges or whatever And another monitor stand. Just got a little scrap here on that one.
finish that session off with a trip to the store and uh, I didn't score a ton of stuff but it was a fairly interesting video I sure hope you enjoyed watching it I hope you enjoyed riding along with me and as always thanks for watching